Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Malplays here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys five completely free photo editing softwares for Mac, Windows, and even Linux. Now, I know a lot of you guys are small, aspiring YouTubers like me and need to create thumbnails for videos or maybe even a banner for your channel. However, not everybody is super rich and able to buy a professional photo editing program like Photoshop, which, if you look at Amazon right now, is priced at $100. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Luckily for you guys, I have five great ones here, and we're just going to get started. Alrighty, the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is Paint.net. Paint.net is my personal favorite. I use it for everything. Um, as you can see, my banner on my, my banner on my channel that was made by Paint.net on Paint.net. Um, all my thumbnails made on Paint.net, and yeah, this is my personal favorite because it's pretty easy to use. There's no giant learning curve when you first start, um, but it has the capability to do some pretty amazing stuff. Um, it is pretty basic um, when you first take a glance at it, but it actually has a pretty reasonable range of effects, um, drawing tools, and allows you to edit multiple layers. The only negative I would say to Paint.net, it has no dodge or burn tools. If you use those, then you're out of luck. Um, the second one, though, is GIMP. Now, with GIMP, Paint.net, and all the next ones I'm going to be showing you guys, all the links will be in the description down below if you're interested in them. Again, completely free downloads, no surveys, no stuff like that you have to take. Alright, back to GIMP. Um, GIMP, I would say, is like... Adobe Photoshop, just a little more scaled down. It layers and channels exactly like Photoshop, and it has the capability to do both pretty basic and then super advanced editing. Um, all common image file formats like PNG, JPEG are supported, and it has a lot of features already, but if you want, you could use plugins to have even more features. Uh, there is a little bit of a learning curve, though, I'm going to say, um, but GIMP runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even FreeBSD. Okay, the third software in this video is Picasa. I've never personally used Picasa, but just by the looks of it, it has a simple and easy to use interface. Um, I will say one thing though, it is definitely not for complex and professional photo editors, so if that's you, then I would not recommend it to you. Um, it definitely is not a good replacement for Photoshop in any way. It's just your basic run-of-the-mill photo editor, so uh, consider yourself warned. Okay guys, the fourth photo editing software I'm going to be showing you guys is Inkscape but before I talk about Inkscape's features I just want to say that you shouldn't download it if you're completely new to editing unlike Picasa Inkscape is definitely pretty advanced it has a lot of advanced features that might be a little complicated when you first start and I'm not gonna lie I had a little trouble using it and was confused on how to use some aspects of the program um, with that said though it has tons of drawing tools text tools, node points, tools for shaping, stuff like that, um, 3D boxes, gradients, and Inkscape runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux again. Um, so let's get to the last one. Last but definitely not least we have Pixlr. Now I know this is five free photo editing programs um, or software should I say. Um, Pixlr is a little different from the rest of the other editors I was talking about because it's a free online photo editor uh, but just because it's online doesn't mean it's not good uh, with Pixlr you got tons of, like filters adjustment tools and has definitely more choices like for example if you were to use a pencil tool for anything uh, you get options like plain plain pencil sketchy shaded sticky pencil so that's pretty cool um, there is no major learning cur curve or negative to Pixlr other than if you don't have access to the internet, then you're basically screwed. Um, you can't use a program, obviously, because it's an online photo editor. But yeah. Uh, okay, guys, those are the free, completely free, I should say, photo editing programs. I hope this video helped you guys out in any way and maybe saved you a couple bucks if you're planning to get by, like, Photoshop or something. Um, if it did, please hit that like button down below. It'll help me out so much and is very much appreciated. And again, all these programs, no download, no surveys, no special offers you have to do. Um, just go down into the description below. All links will be there if you're interested in any of these programs. And that's pretty much it for me, guys. If you wish to subscribe, please do. Check out my other videos and stuff. Um, put enough self-advertising for me. 
That's it for me, guys. It's the now, please.